This uh, procedure is called the TOGA, which stands for Transoral Gastroplasty. And it's a, a new device and procedure that's been developed over, uh, I guess, probably six or eight years by a number of uh, physicians and engineers as a way of achieving a gastroplasty through the mouth. Um, gastroplasties are operations that have been done, oh, probably for 30 years um, to treat obesity, basically a stomach stapling type of thing. A, a stapling device is used to partition the stomach into different chambers that slow the progress of food through the stomach and help people feel full and therefore reduce their calorie intake and lose weight. We've known for many years that gastroplasties, particularly an operation called a vertical banded gastroplasty, has been effective at helping people to lose about 45% of their excess body weight. And what's exciting about this new device and procedure is that this uh, simulates that operation, but completely through the mouth. There's no surgical incisions on the abdominal wall. There's just so fewer risks. You're under anesthesia for less time. Heal there's no incisions to heal. Um, I was released on Thursday running errands on Friday, so that's just amazing. The first step in the process is to do a, a standard endoscopy, just like is done thousands of times probably a day across the country, where we look inside the stomach and make sure that the anatomy of the stomach is relatively normal, make sure the person does not have a lar large hiatal hernia. As long as the anatomy is fairly normal, then we pass a guide wire over, uh, through that scope into the stomach and then over that guide wire, we place a bougie dilator. And this is thing uh, is about an inch in diameter, stretches out the esophagus a little bit gently uh, to prepare it for the device itself, which is slightly smaller than that bougie dilator. So once the bougie's been in there several minutes, we remove that, and then over the guide wire again, pass the uh, toga device. There are actually two staplers involved. The first one is the larger, uh, and that creates a sleeve-like configuration of the upper stomach. And that device is actually deployed twice uh, in a row, creating an, a long sleeve that's around um, eight or 10 centimeters long. And then at the end of that sleeve, we deploy a secondary, smaller stapling device that restricts the outflow of that sleeve, making it fairly small, slowing the progress of food from the upper part of the stomach to the lower part and that delay in the progress of food from the sleeve into the lower part of the stomach is what makes a person feel full and reduce their calorie intake.